I started work there. The person that had been before me hadn't had any special training, and nor had I. And so I more or less carried on with the little I had picked up when I was at the Sick Children's Hospital in, in Edinburgh and, and various places. I, the Domen Delicato system was very much in vogue at that time with the, the passive movements. And so I went up to Christchurch, the equivalent school up there, and spent a week there watching what they were doing. We tried it back at our school. I wasn't totally convinced. I felt that if any child had five people working on her for, say, three times a day, there would have to be an improvement, not only in that physically, but in mental motivation. So we did have one child through that time that we managed who was a quite a severe athetoid and used to progress from rolling and tumbling head over heels down the passages to walking with a trolley. So from that point of view, it worked, but I think the psychological aspect was a very strong thing in her case. The other children, it didn't make any difference to at all. So I did go away and do my bow bath training. I did a little bit. I actually did a full course with Kate Hedges. Do you know Kate? I did her course. That, that was after I went to teach at the physiotherapy school. I did her full course. And that was helpful. But I took the children not only for straight physiotherapy, but music and movement classes and that worked extremely well with them and I'd love to have followed that through further actually. It was surprising what the, what they did, could do and what they did when we, when we were doing music and movement and we did have some people over from the States that videoed the whole process and yep. But I stayed there, I suppose, for about 10 years working with the children. They had all, first six years of that time, it was at Matariki. If we felt that they could succeed by going out to a normal school, we would send them off for several hours a day or several hours a week and try and integrate them that way. Then we were integrated with a normal school, or we were moved to a normal school down at Forbury. And the children spent more time in the classrooms there and we were able to get them out of the classroom. At that time, we tried to put them into a, a the class situation where we knew that they would achieve to a certain extent. We d really didn't put them in where we thought they would fail. The normal school children played with them and yes, uh, from that point of view the socialising was quite good. Later on, after I left the school, the children were all integrated into normal school. For some it might have been a good thing, for others it was a bad thing and my mind's sort of open on that. But I've had many parents come to me and say, thank goodness we weren't integrated when so-and-so was small, because they would have been lost. So I don't know what the, the best solution is. I think it was possibly better when we could be able to give them the treatments and the education that suited them at the time and, and for, had the facility of transferring them to normal classes as they could cope. However, the world's gone a different way. Mm -hmm.